Hi, it's Josh Sisk, Executive Director of the Potawatomi Museum. We have a special treat today. You know, a lot of times we'll go behind the scenes of the rhino, the okapi, animals that a lot of you guys have seen. Um, but we're trying to really take advantage of this time to really get behind the scenes of some of the animals that maybe you don't necessarily see all the time. So today, we're actually behind the scenes of the warthog. Uh, a lot of times you guys will see these guys out laying in the mud, but you haven't really gotten an up close peek uh, at these guys. So here we are, um, so take a look. All right, so we are here with General Curator Anna, and she is uh, getting the, our, there they are, uh, the warthogs up here. This is actually a training fence that we use. Uh, you can see that the fence can open, it's kind of divided. Uh, the keepers do a lot of training here. They can do injection trains. Uh, the vets can get good looks at them here. Who is this, Anna? This is Pita Tonga, or we call her Pita for short. And she's one of my favorites. <laughs> you guys, check out these tusks, though. This is just amazing. These tusks are so strong, and they use these for defense in the wild. I mean, they're just remarkable. His name is Rocksteady. Rocksteady, that's we right. We just call him Rock for short. I want you guys to see that you, it looks like there's uh, moisture or water around their eyes. That's actually a secretion that they have um, around their face. Rock, come here. There's Rock. Check out his tusks. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love listening to the sound. If you ever wondered how uh, you're eating like a pig came about, this is it. <laughs> when I was a young warthog. <laughs> All right, I'm not known for my singing. <laughs> So. Well, this is a treat. Well, thank you, Anna, for uh, giving us a little behind the scenes of the warthogs here. This is pretty cool. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the general curator here at Potawatomi Zoo, and we are here with our zebras. We have Flash and Jackie. They are plain zebras. Um, that both Jackie's right under 600 pounds, and Flash is a little bit over 600 pounds. Jackie will be turning 21 next month, and Flash will be turning 15 this summer. So all zebras have different stripe patterns. So, if, as a keeper working with them, they can tell just by maybe looking at their backside what who is who. I know Flash has a certain pattern on his backside that is different than Jackie's. But Jackie is a little bit smaller. <laughs> you come take some hay. So zebras are grazers, so they're gonna be eating the grasses on the ground. Um, unlike um, our okapi, which are browsers, and they're gonna be eating more trees and shrubberies. There's three species of zebras. There's the plain zebras that we have, the gravy zebras, and the mountain zebras. These are least concerned in the wild, but the um, gravy zebras are endangered. So big question about zebras is if, are they black with white stripes or white with black stripes? And we like to say they're black with white stripes because their skin is actually black in color. These guys are pretty hardy. Um, granted, it's a, it's a nice spring day today in the 50s, but even in the winter, as long as it's not icy, they can come out and exhibit um, with access to their warm barn at, at temperatures even in the 20s and 30s. Thanks for joining us here at the zebra exhibit. We're looking forward to getting you guys back here at the zoo.